What's up, you guys? Your boy Pereira Senpai here, and today we are going to react to Undead Murder Farce Episode 3. Now, in the last episode, there was a bit of a time skip, let's say six months right there, of our two characters that has decided to do detective work that would help them lead or try to discover where this person that they're trying to find is at or how close they're gonna get to him but that said it looked like they picked up a job of a murder mystery i guess and that's why we get introduced by new characters that are vampires which is actually very interesting to see in this like world of theirs now while i believe who the murder is i believe it is gonna be the eldest son seeing how he was the one that was staying at the home instead of the maid and the butler that did it with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see my reaction on the next episode hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about let's hop on to today's episode dude this opening may be the first who knows it's actually really good all right we're continuing the mystery matter oh wait they're having dinner nice <coughs> Is that, is that blood? Okay, that guy has a kink, bro. So they gotta drink blood regardless. <laughs> Man, she's pretty hilarious. Hmm, so the, I guess the sons don't believe that they're actually like detectives. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Props, props to the chick. Oh, dude, she's about to make this man cry. Sherlock Holmes. So that person exists in the world? Damn. Hmm. Damn, this is actually getting a bit hard to know who actually did it, seeing how almost... Wait, what happens if it was the whole... Nah, it can't be the whole family. So this all happened while they were out hunting. I'm I'm seriously, man. I'm considering that the older brother was the one that killed the mother. Hmm. Definitely could have happened before they went out. That's for sure. I'm sure she's. I'm pretty sure she could tell if someone's lying. I'm pretty sure. Alright, next is Alfred. Let's see what he has to say. Damn, my guy sus. I'm telling you, man, it's a son. It is a son. Um, poor girl. girl. She doesn't want to hear her mother's death, man. Some interesting visuals, that's for sure. Please jump in a pond and feed yourself. <laughs> Hmm, you're keeping up so well. But by his time? Wait, what do you mean? Ah, okay, so the maid is gonna be a cover-up or a undercover to see what the other two servants are doing. I knew he was sneaking around, bro. I was feeling it. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, damn! Yeah, okay, so he's showing his murderer tent. I mean, dude, you're just making yourself more obvious. But his hands were clean. During our meal, I made sure to pay close attention to all the vampire's hands. Mmm. Kind of weird how there was just one cup of tea out there. Mmm, so the night dwellers, I see. I mean, not. What the fuck? Please remain here. I've been ordered to stay with you both. Okay, this, hmm, maybe it is Alfred. <laughs> Please insult my other person because I don't serve him. Hmm, looks like he's trying to convince them that it was no one in the house, but there has to be someone in the house that did it. The hunter attack. Oh, so he lost three other family members before. Yeah, that is actually truly immortal. That's for sure, dude. I like I like the unsettling horror that's like giving out right now. I love it. <laughs> yep, got us. 
Whoa! Who was it that shot him? I actually scared the shit out of me. This guy's fucked. Yeah, he's fucked. I read in the vampire books that, like, vampire hunters don't have, like, the leverage of, like, you know, attacking a vampire directly. What? Just in today. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense or logical sense. Oh, so you try to talk him out of it, but he didn't want to. He gained an incredible ally. Hmm. Now I definitely think it was a son. 100%. Wait. Does this mean that she finally found the culprit? Hmm. Wait, is this already the end? Oh, god damn it. Time to review today's episode. So we get a bit more deeper on seeing who are the ones that are suspicious by asking them what they have been doing before the murder event and it kind of just shows of our girl that she can definitely figure things out from just the look of things and after um and after dinner time the eldest son he confronted them and made a threat which to me i want to say it made it more obvious that he could be the killer but then again he could be someone that just doesn't want to get pinned for something he did wrong so it is definitely harder to predict if he was the one but definitely for sure the eldest son or alfred are the most suspicious ones out of the rest because i can't think of the little girl doing a murder like that with that said it comes even more clear on who it could be when we get to the forest seen after the head of the family gets shot by an arrow on the neck and proceeds to attack the vampire hunter the chick asks the vampire hunter some questions that leads up to revealing that there has been an ally that helped with the murder of the woman now with that hopefully it does pin down or narrows down to what she believes is the murderer but first i gotta say the visuals in this anime so far has really did a stunning job honestly like with the coloring the transitions the motion that has the emotions for sure it does a great job and i gotta hand it to the soundtrack and to the voice acting because they're doing a great job with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see more reaction on the next episode hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i got to talk about it's been your boy Pura senpai and i'll see you guys in the next episode